In this problem, we would like to determine the surface area of a cylinder. Here we have a cylinder drawn with equal circles, top and bottom. They have the same radius. That's what makes them equal. And there's a distance between the ends, or the two circles, that's known as height. We would like to calculate the surface area of the cylinder to include the round portion of the height as well as the flat area of the two circles. To do that, we're going to use this formula. Surface area equals 2 times the value pi r squared plus 2 times the value pi times r multiplied by the value height, or h. Now to solve this formula, we first need to know the values of r, radius, and h, height. So we're just going to put in a couple values here and substitute them. We're going to set the height to be 1 centimeter and the radius to be 1 centimeter. Now all we have to do is plug these values into the equation. Come up here and we'll put 2 times pi 1 squared plus 2 times pi times 1 times 1. And now we reduce this and solve. Pi times 1 squared, 1 squared times 1 is 1, so 1 times pi is pi. So that's 2 pi. Plus pi times 1 is pi, times 1 is pi again, so that's 2 pi. So we can solve for this, and that would be equal to 4 pi. And to find the final value, we know that 4 times pi, which is 3.14159, we can multiply that and achieve the value of 12.56636 by our calculator. Of course, we need to put in the units here. And since 1 squared, or 1 centimeter squared, is centimeter squared, and 1 centimeter times 1 centimeter is centimeter squared, we have a value of centimeter squared for our unit. Let's solve that equation again for different values for r and h. This time, we're going to use r equals 3 centimeters and h equals 5 centimeters. We index this down. Okay. And we'll put in our equation again this time. A equals 2 times the value pi r squared plus the value 2 times pi r times h. And now we simply plug these values in to the equation here. So the surface area would be the 2 times pi, or 3 squared, plus 2 times pi times 3 times the height, or 5. Solving this, we get 2 times pi times 9, plus 2 times pi times 3 times 5. We must now solve for these values because we can't reduce this any more than we have. So now we're going to come in and 9 times 3.14159 equals 28, which is 2 times 28.27431 plus 2 times 3 times pi which equals 9.42477 times 5. We can multiply the 5 by the 2 to give us 10 times 9.42477, which equals 94.2477. And we multiply 2 times 28. 
0.431, our answer is 56.54862. And now we add that to the 94, 2477, and we get a value of 150.9. 7, 7, 9, 6, 3, 2, centimeter 7.